Hey everyone, welcome to another installment of the First Impression series, a series where I review an album just after one listen. And today we are looking at the third album from Lingua Ignata, titled Cagalia, which was released on July 19th, 2019. Now, Lingua Ignata's music, I think, can best be described as self catharticism, as a lot of her music details and it um, is about her history of being, and personal experience, I should say, excuse me, of being a victim of domestic abuse. And this album is about one of her abusive relationships, specifically about, and from her words, speaking out about abuse and feeling invalidated and the people who I thought were my friends no longer being my friends and the crushing experience of how that feels. Now, let's dive into the artwork of this album. It's a headshot of her, and there's these gold-colored smears on her. There is this gold chain around her neck, and there's also the album titled Tattooed Across the Top of Her Chest. I feel like you can make several interpretations with this cover, and definitely how it relates to the album itself. I'm going to go ahead and give it a 9 out of 10. And then we're going to get into the music here. And we start out with the first track, Faithful Servant, Friend of Christ. Rather ominous and drowning intro, the song gives a dark and somber spin and a rather and is rather chilling. And it has a slight gospel sound, and the song really does feel like the introduction piece of the project. The second song is Do You Doubt Me, Traitor? The very low bass notes from the piano give the song a slightly unsettling edge from the start. And Lignata's vocals here are just heartbreaking, but they do strike an impact. Her blood-curdling screams are just really unsettling, especially when they come in for the first time with Satan, get beside me! And the way that the piano just sort of just drones on when she's letting out these blood-curdling screams is just terrifying. And it breaks into a rather mournful chant-like singing, and it goes a cappella for the finale at the exact same time. Third song is Butcher of the World, and her screams on here are extremely tense, and halfway through we get this like really deathly choir. Uh, fourth song is May Failure Be Your Noose, and there's droning, heavily distorted wall noise on this track. And then we also have um, high levels of utter contempt from her vocal performance too, especially with lyrics like, May failure be a garment to wrap around you, may failure be a belt which to grid you, May failure be a noose in which to hang you. The outro just elevates with this loud sounding crash while she sings, Everything Burns Down Around Me. Fifth song is Fragment is My Many Flowered Crowned. The vocal layering on this track is fantastic, and the focus on her desire to murder those who harm her give this song a very strong underlying aggression. And these moments were the words of hey, of hate, whether these lines of femininity that gives the song just a whole new set of dimensions. The sixth song is If the Poison Won't Take You, My Dogs Will, and the soft lighter side adds another dimension against the wall of droning noise. The screen just hits out of nowhere, similar to the Do You Doubt Me Traitor song, and this song is an ode to killer Aline Wernals, and it really does feel like her being pulled away from going down the same worst path that the killer did. The seventh song is Days of Tears in Mourning. There is a haunting organ to start, and it breaks into this droning progression while she screams it out. The droning instrumentation definitely has a more somber feel, hence the title. And that continues the sense of mourning that was starting the last song with this eighth song, Sorrow, Sorrow, Sorrow. But it is a lot softer and feels like a moment of reflection in the sense of isolation. A sample of Lars from Metallica eating, which is sort of meant to be meta, and it's in the background. It's like the only amount of, uh, slight amount of release that you definitely get from this album. It's like the one breather you get when listening to this. The ninth song is Spite Alone Holds Me Aloft. And her screams on this track are snarling. She lets out just this intense amount of hatred out. And that's even after everything that she's been through. The only thing that keeps her alone is hate. Spite Alone Holds Me Afloat. 
the tenth song is Death Dealer, and this feels like a proclamation and a warning, but less of a threat, but more of a guarantee. And we reach the final song on this album, I Am The Beast. It is a haunting reflection as the album as a whole. The whole time, all she wanted was to be loved, but all she experienced was violent, and because of that, all she did was crave violence as a form of revenge. And that was the one thing that definitely kept her afloat. And now she sees herself as this beast only craving violence. And her blood curling screams on here are just quite frankly heartbreaking. And as for my overall thoughts on this album, her vocal performance, from her somber voice to her throat singing to her eerie chants to her blood curling screams, is really fantastic. This album is direct and in your face, and it's personal as the amount of lyrics on this song is brought to a minimum allowing her to put great emphasis as its words on these words and there's also a great deal of direct vulgarity in the way those lyrics are written as these are all things that all things that she needs to directly convey everything to the listener and she does it very effectively the short lyrics may seem simple and repetitive when you just look at them and just read them but when you listen to it, it's definitely an entirely different story. With each repeated line, there's definitely added weight to each time the lines are repeated. There is a lot of join no drone noise for the instrumentation with a piano and this jazz-inspired drumming. The album takes the listener on a bleak and unjust journey from the personal experience of her and many other women like her. This album is a cathartic album from her as she pushes everything outright at the listener. This, if I'm going to be completely honest, is one of the most intense, upfront, personal, in-your-face, and mournful albums I have ever heard. She is screaming, look at what they did to me. And she is just begging for something to be done, something to change. This album is a call to action. You are seeing the injustices, now act on them. And with all that anger, this album is that... It's very somber and sad because in the end, all that she wanted to do was be loved. And it's definitely an album that I feel has a greater impact, especially when you sort of have it on your mind after you've heard it. It's definitely something that does it's definitely something that sticks with you after you've listened to it. And definitely something that especially after the day or two you've heard this album, it's definitely something that you sort of reflect on and definitely does strike a chord with you personally. And that is why, without a doubt, I think you know I'm gonna rate this. I'm going to give this album a 10 out of 10, giving it a tier of Masterpiece. Now, normally, this is the section where I do tell you what my first songs on this album were. However, I feel like with the nature of this album and the way this album was built and the way that the artist intended for you to hear this album, I do not think I can do that here. I feel like me recommending tracks would definitely do the album this service. I'm just going to say I recommend you listen to the whole thing. And I do understand that this album is definitely not for the faint of heart and might be difficult for some people to listen to if. They've experienced some of, unfortunately, were the victims of some of the things that she went through. Um, but regardless, this was a really great project. It's definitely one of the best that came out in 2019. And it's definitely something that's personally struck a chord with me. It's just been an album that I've definitely been reflecting on ever since I first heard it a little, fairly recently. Um, but yeah, this is a... Great album. I highly recommend you check out the whole thing. As this album, I'm going to say it's not like regular music where you can just sit down and just jam to it or whatever. Um, this is an album that's more like an experience. Um, you're definitely listening to the um, pain of another person. And it's definitely, you're definitely getting an insight into her um, mentality and it's definitely, I would say, it's a very important record to listen to, especially with everything that's going on currently. Um, it's definitely one that I highly recommend you check out. It's an album that I'm going to go ahead and go ahead and say this, that I think this is an album that is one that's going to have a massive cultural impact. And yeah, 
I want to thank you for taking your time out of your day to watch this review. And I hope you all have a great